job. Nervous. Completely nervous. Did you cry about it? Uh, no, I just said, ouch. We have decided to go get an Oreo blast. I know we're gonna I'm paying you. Oh my gosh. Ow! Hey everybody, it's Val and Jess. We are getting ready to head out. We're gonna go grab some food, some um, comfort food for Jess. And then we're going to go to the uh, doctor. Jessica's being so mature and grown up about the doctor's appointment. So we'll get some more videos as we go. But for now, I got to turn off the camera because Jessica has asked to watch a movie. What movie are you watching? Tell the camera. Uh, what movie is it? Mommy? What movie is it? Is it called Birthday Boogie? Birthday Boogie. It's a video that she found in her room. It's something that needs to be in the car. So, um... She's loving having a DVD player in the car, aren't you? Yes, I love it. She loves it. It's not making me upset or anything. It makes me happy. I'm so glad it makes you happy. Uh, so this is kind of a surprise appointment for both of us, and she handled the news so well. So proud of her. So we're going to make kind of a Jessica mom day out of it and get out of the house and go do some fun stuff. Like, when we get finished, we think we're going to go look at furniture. When I first bought my house, I had no money, no resources, no job. I was in school full-time. This isn't the movie, is it? And it's probably uh, the commercial before the movie. And so I took furniture that was donated to me. And some of it's hand-me-down furniture, like uh, family pieces that are kind of heirlooms. And then since then, I've just bought... Uh, like cheap furniture um, or just like individual pieces and I think mine and Jessica's beds both we bought from um, Amazon the bed that the frame and the mattress I'm gonna be looking for some uh, space saving furniture that has storage in it uh, I'm not gonna do that much today but that's kind of what we're gonna just kind of go walk around and look at Woo -hoo. Did you hear that, yeah, I did. So, if y'all want to know what kind of stuff I take to an appointment like this, well, sometimes nothing because I run out of time and I'm disorganized. But today, I um, had the forethought to pack my iPad, um, a battery pack, a squeezy ball, which is something she likes, and noise canceling headphones also made sure to have masks and she's got her pocketbook which has um, her ID and insurance card in it. Hey, you want to tell the camera what you want for lunch? Yeah, uh, chicken nuggets and french fries from Burger King. From Burger King, all right. You want to pull that seat down so you have a place to put your cup? There's a, there's a little, there's a, let me have your hand. There's a little handle right there, pull that and pull the thing down at the same time. Use both hands. You pull with that and pull the headrest down with the other hand. Right there? Yep. Pull the handle. Yeah, look at you. You did it. Good job. So we've made it to the medical mall parking lot. I've squeezed into a little parking place. Um, so from here we gotta take a little hike. Here's the movie, Jay. You gonna put it back in the case? Yes, ma'am. Do you know where to put it? Yeah, so we're gonna take a little walk um, through the garage, across the walkway, into the medical mall, and find where we I'm need not, to go. I'm having trouble. Let's see, put it on this side. I think it'll... There we go. All right, you want to hand me your garbage? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Where do you want to put this? Where do you want to put this? Um, here. Well, for now, you want to just put it right here in this yeah. pocket until we get back in the car? I've got a water bottle up here in the way. Remind me... 
I have to pay this parking fee before we get back to the car. So help me remember, all righty? Okay. All right, here we go. I say mean things. You're not gonna be mean, cause you know why? Cause you're so sweet. So we're at our appointment and- Well, it's not for you. No, you're right. It's not, it's for you, isn't it? Yeah. Put your mask back up over your nose, please. So once we got here, are you super nervous? Yeah. So Jess is real nervous. I'm completely but nervous. Completely nervous. Like, extremely nervous. Right. And she's using her squeezy ball a little bit. The other thing I did, the room waiting room is pretty full. I mean, they've got chairs spread out for social distancing, but they're all full. But it's not that big of a waiting room. So I asked if we could wait out in the hall. So our office that we're going to is right there around that corner. So we're just gonna sit out here. It's probably gonna be about 15 minutes or more before the doctors get back from lunch. So we're just gonna sit out here and visit with each other, maybe turn on the iPad, work on staying calm, aren't we? Mama, I'm nervous. Hey, do you want to try to explain to the camera why you're so nervous? Yes. So we are in the room. Yeah. It's 107. So we've been in here. Jessica had her vital signs taken. We've been all through the questions with the nurse. So we really haven't had to wait very long at all, have we? No. We stepped outside, but we probably weren't out there even five minutes. It was probably just a few minutes. And then they, they called us in. And uh, she no. thinks that the doctor will be in soon. Um, I think Jessica's feeling a little better than she was out in the waiting room. Aren't you? Feeling a little better. What you want to tell the camera what the lady was telling us about uh, EEGs? Yeah. Tell her. Tell the camera. Tell me, mom. What did? What kind of EEGs can you have? I don't know. You could have one where you could come up here. Well. Or. Or. What? Or I can have them at home. Matt could have one at home, and if you have it at home, what do you have to leave alone? The one's in my hair. That's right. So if she's able to have one at home, she's got to be agreeable to leaving all the wires alone. So we'll see what he has to say about it. Uh, what is wires? It's it's the connectors, how they measure stuff. We'll just have to see. It's just temporary, though. It comes back off. How does it do that? I don't know. It's a mystery. I mean, how did the hair, those things in the hair come off? Oh, it's just, they put sticky stuff in there. It's kind of like toothpaste. Yeah. And then they stick the little electrode to the toothpaste-like stuff. And then when you're finished, they just pull it off. And then they the, who wash. Who pulls it off? Do you remember? I think her name was Marsha. She used to do your EEGs, and she would say, I'm going to wash her hair. Yeah. Do you remember who that? Who would do that? Wash it? Mm-hmm. Me. Mom would do it. We need to talk to the doctor and see if I can do it, do one at home. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, so. Where would the things come from for my hair? Uh, I don't know. We'll have to find out. We'll have to find out. Don't know yet. Am I being good? Oh, you are being so good. What kind of treat do you think I need? What kind of treat do you need? Do you know? I don't know. We're still going to go to the furniture store. You're right. We sure do. You're talking about some kind of treat, but I forgot what it was. Oh, like a donut or a cookie or an ice cream or something. Ice cream what? Or something. A donut or a cookie or an ice cream or something? Yeah. Oh no, I remembered about the video I made about Abby. Oh, I gotta put the car in gear. I'm still learning how to do that. Um, okay, tell the camera. How was your visit? Good. I'm so glad. It was real good.
So what, do you remember the doctor's name? Dr. Dr. Jake. Yeah. Uh, did you have lab work done? Yes, ma'am. Did you cry about it? Uh, no, I just said, ouch, like this. You really barely even said ouch. What was your um, person's name that took your blood? That took my blood? Her name was Madeline. Oh, she was really cool, wasn't she? She was really cool. She helped you relax, didn't she? Do you want to tell the camera like an update on the plan? What's the plan of Dr. Jake's? Uh, well, I'm going to have an EEG, but we don't know when for sure. Right. And then what about medicine? I'm going to go on some me seizure medication. Yeah, so we're going to go ahead and go on the seizure medication. And then in a few weeks, we'll do an EEG to see how things are looking. And a few weeks. he told us what kind of things to watch for. What is like what? Like for? a rash on new medicine, having a reaction and get to having a rash. What? What if? I, what if I start having a rash? He said, "If you start having a rash, call us. Call us. Call, call him for what? And to tell him, hey, I'm having a rash." Please insert your ticket in the slot on the left. Press the lost ticket button if you have lost your ticket. Thank you for visiting Erlanger Hospital. Take care. Alrighty. Alright, you want to tell the camera what we've decided to do next? We have decided to go get an Oreo Blast. I know we're going to blast. We'll find these. Yeah, that's your special treat, isn't it? How happy is that? Mom, is your Bessie not about ready for another baby? You are. Yeah, she's getting there. Mm -hmm. She's getting that way. She's working on it. She's doing good. Yep. Mommy, we have a doggy. Mm -hmm. Bessie said, mm -hmm. Bessie said, may Bessie pat you. Oh, your hands are cold. You want your seat warmer on? Yes, I do. I'm patting you. Oh my gosh! I'm so glad we got that taken care of. So, what does he think about doing an EG at home? He said you don't. You probably don't need one at home. He probably can just do a 30-minute EEG in the office. Probably. He don't need one at home. I could do it. Mommy bad doggy. Mommy bad doggy. Oh, good one. Mommy. No, not, not while I'm driving. Stop. This is important. Oh, oh. When you're in the store, I'm in a patch. Well, okay. In the store, that's fine. Yay! Yay! Was your Bessie not ready for a new baby? You were. Your Bessie said. Bessie said. Bessie said. Bessie said. What did she say? You're amazing. No, what did she say about a new poochie? You couldn't have one. Yeah, did that perk your Bessie up? You know it, girl. Perked me right up. A new doggy make you feel, make your Bessie feel good? Yep. Help her stay happy? Yep. It was very, very bad news that my old dog had to be put down. She was real, real, she was really old and how old was she, Mom? Um, probably about 15. Mm, that's not too, too old. That's pretty old for a dog. 15. Sometimes she lasts until 14. Right? Pretty, pretty, pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. That was pretty old for a dog, hun. It was her time. Have a deal. 
I'll take a mini Oreo blast, please. Anything else? That's it. Oreo blast. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm.